Hi guys, uh, my name is Michael and I'm working here in uh, Merit Medical in Galway. So today I want to show you a simple science experiment where we're actually going to make our own lava lamp. So it's very easy to do, all you're going to need is five things. The first thing you're going to need, you're going to need some oil. So any oil, it can be vegetable oil, I've chosen rapeseed oil. Second thing you're going to need here is some water. Again, any water can be bottled, can be tap water, and I just have it in a little beaker. Third, we're going to take some food colouring. So any food colouring of your choice, I've chosen the colour blue. Then we're going to need some Alka-Seltzer tablets. So for these, you might need to ask your parent just for supervision while you're using these. And lastly, we are going to need any container. So I've chosen a plastic bottle because it's just going to help us when we're throwing away our waste at the end. It's going to be very easy to dispose of. Okay, we can get started here, guys. So firstly, I'm going to take my container. I'm going to use a funnel to help me. And then I'm going to add my oil. So I carefully add in my oil, trying not to make a mess. So we're going to fill this uh, about three quarters of the way, maybe, or just over half full with the oil. And then we're going to add in our water. Okay, so that's our oil. Now I'm going to add a small amount of water. So I take my water again. So I add it in. And once that settles, what we're going to see here is instead of the oil and the water mixing, they're actually going to form two separate layers. So what you're going to see is we're going to see the water at the bottom and the oil layer sitting on top. So that happens because the oil is actually lighter and less dense than the water. So it's going to form a layer on top. So next thing we're going to do, I'm going to take my blue food colouring. I'm going to take a little dropper to help me out here. And I'm just going to add a few drops of the food colouring to the bottle. So you can add as much as you want. So I add in. And once I add those in, you're going to see as well, those food colouring, it's not actually going to react with the oil layer. It's just going to want to sink down until it meets the water layer. And it does that because it's actually water-based as well. So once they've all uh, settled down at the bottom, I'm going to take my Alka-Seltzer tablet that I've got help with to break it up. I'm going to add, start to add those in. Just like the food colouring, it's going to want to drop to the water layer instead of reacting with the oil. And as soon as it hits the water layer, what we see is a reaction happening with uh, the water and the Alka-Seltzer. So what's happening there is the carbon dioxide is actually being released. As this gas is released, it's very light because of the gas, so it's going to want to rise to the surface. As it rises to the surface, it's actually going to capture some of our little food colouring blobs and it's going to bring them to the surface also. Once it hits the surface, that gas is released, and so we're going to see that food colouring once again. It wants to sink down to the water layer. And this circulation effect is essentially what gives us our lava lamp. It's a very simple experiment you can do yourself at home or in school. So I hope you give it a go and I hope you enjoy it. And uh, thanks for watching.